Former Texas wide receiver slash tight end Malcolm Epps has committed to USC. And I want to do a quick video about Malcolm Epps and kind of watch some of his game tape from the University of Texas where he was receiver slash tight end, kind of played not, not a flex role, if you will, but was out some, was in some, was in the slot, was the outside on the perimeter, had his hand in the dirt, lined up in several different positions. But I think it's going to be a, I think it's a huge get for the USC offense and for Keaton Slovis in his development overall. We ha we know Slovis had a great 2019 season. Last year, 2020 season, uh, he's taken some criticism, and people have said that he's taken a step back. Uh, I'm not, not in either one camp, but I do know he wants to develop and continue his growth as a quarterback. And I think Malcolm. Epps has a uh, will have great potential to help Slovis take that next step. He's a big time playmaker. Whenever given the chance, before we dive into the actual film of Epps from his film at Texas, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to this channel if you like any quarterback related content, any quarterback breakdowns, any quarterback uh, competition breakdowns, interviews, how we assess quarterbacks in the weight room, what we do on the field, how it transfers, whatever it may be. Uh, this is your channel, and so please consider subscribing if you like that stuff like, comment on the videos. And before we dive into the actual clip, I want to read off a quick article from The Athletic, which I will tag, I'll, I will link in the bottom, but it just kind of goes over um, Epps and his his transfer, uh, when, uh, when he announced he was transferring. And so Epps being 6'6", 244 pounds, he only caught 24 passes in three years at Texas, but four of those receptions went for a touchdown. So one, every six, one out of every six pass went for a touchdown. He's a big-bodied receiver who could help USC's offense down near the red zone, and that's a very friendly uh, target for Keaton Slovis and for any quarterback looking for that weapon. Let's go ahead and watch the clips. Let's go ahead and dive into some of the film of why he can be a good attribute to USC's offense and how he can really help Keaton Slovis' development, and then I'll see you on the back end of the video. So here's one of my favorite plays from Epps, and this kind of demonstrates his ability as a playmaker, receiver, tight end, whatever you want to call him. Uh, so he's down here at the bottom of the screen, and he's one-on-one -on -one with the DB. He's about four or five yards off the ball. Safety's going to be up top as well. You'll see him just run right by the DB. DB looks like play, probably playing some zone um, as he's kind of looking at the quarterback right now. Ellinger throws it up, and Epps makes a hell of a catch here. Remember how remember how big he is, 6'6", six, six, pushing 250, and he's spread out in the, either the X or Z position, whatever you want to call it, and he's able just to run right by and make a hell of a catch. Let's go ahead and check out the play. Remember, bottom of the screen, here he is. Takes off past the DB. Ellinger hits him in the hole. He goes up and gets it. Awesome catch there. It's a 30-something yard gain, 35, 36-yard gain. Let's go ahead and watch this angle here. Again, you, USC fans should be excited because of this type of catch and ability that he is bringing to the table. Slovis should be very excited. Ellinger just puts it up for him. Watch him go get it. Takes a hit. Still catches it. So here we have Malcolm Epps, Epps excuse me, uh, split out here. So this is kind of the position, I would assume USC will use him in some of their offense, kind of that, that Y or inside slot position, or in this case, it's the regular slot position. <clears throat> We're going to see his athleticism uh, on display here as Ellinger is going to roll around this way, then come back. We'll see Epps initially come with a slant, follows Ellinger this way, follows him this way, and makes a hell of a catch in, between, uh, in traffic and diving as well. Notice it is fourth down here. Uh, this this play actually, uh, Texas took the lead here with not much time left in the game. Iowa State did come back and win. But hell of a catch by Malcolm Epps here, and it really displays his athleticism. Again, remember 6'6", six, six, pushing 250. Let's go ahead and watch this play. Again, here he is. Y'all can see. He beats this guy right there. There's a sit DB here or linebacker there. He follows Ellinger, then follows him this way. Watch this catch. Oh, what a catch. Good job of Ellinger putting out there, putting that out for him, too. Let's go ahead and watch the end zone angle. We'll see Ellinger uh, scramble. Again, here's Epps right here. Gets in. Now he's out of this picture, out of the picture. Let's see. He's not going to come back to the picture. The catch. Great catch. So again, we've got Malcolm Epps, Epps excuse me, <laughs> lined up outside again. The DB is off coverage. He's probably about seven-ish yards off line of scrimmage, playing inside technique, eyes on the quarterback at first. Uh, this is a hell of a route, actually, by Malcolm Epps, even though uh, he has to go off script and help his quarterback out. He does a little stutter step, stop and go, takes off. And if Ellinger was able to sit in the pocket and had time, he actually probably comes open. However, Ellinger scrambles, Malcolm Epps, 
uh, turns and makes a great catch on the sideline to help his quarterback out. But again, watch the route first and watch him beat his DB, but then also adjust to come back. Again, something that Slovis will uh, love having this big body receiver who's able, or tight end uh, slash receiver, who's able to uh, be a weapon in various different ways. Let's go ahead and watch the play. Watch stutter step. Beats him right there. Sees that Ellinger's in trouble. Comes back to him. Watch this catch. Boom, good catch. Let's go ahead and watch the other angle as well. Let's see how we go in end zone angle. Yep, uh, behind the center angle. I'm sorry. So we'll watch Ellinger scramble, and then we'll watch Epps, uh, his catch on the sideline. No one there. Great job by Sam to escape. That's awesome. Hell of a throw, actually. Wow. And watch this catch. Good job. So here we have Epps lined up in a more traditional kind of uh, position uh, and three-point stance and by, right by the offensive uh, tackle. And we're just going to see him run a basic seam route here. This, this is a coverage bus. He's wide open for a touchdown, uh, but still a good example of him being able to uh, line up on the line of scrimmage or being able to kind of come wide out like we saw in the other videos. We'll go ahead and watch this clip. Defender just the defender's watching Ellinger as opposed to Epps. He just runs right by him. We'll go ahead and watch the end zone angle as well. Oh, the behind the center angle, I believe, is coming up next. So again, here is Epps right here. Goes out of the screen. Wide open. Touchdown. So on this play, we have Epps lined up the top of the screen here. He's getting a wide out position, either X or C uh, position. And this is only a six yard hit route. It's nothing to balk out by any means. It's not a, like a spectacular play, but I think it's a good example of what he brings to the table. He can split out here. This is an easy six yards. The, the, the DB is what, seven-ish yards off the line of scrimmage. Um, so he, Epson knows he's not going to beat him deep. The stop six yards. He'll take that every time on first down. Uh, so just a, a good example of what he brings to the table. And remember, he's 6'6", six, six, close to 250, and he can line up on the outside. So again, nothing, not a spectacular play, so to speak, but it's just an example of what he can do and where he can line up. We'll go ahead and just watch it, though. Take to the defense, give what the defender gives him, picks up six yards. We'll take that on first down every play. We'll go ahead and watch the behind the center angle. Let's see if I can speed this up just a hair. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Takes the defense, gives him. So we saw Malcolm Epps line up in multiple positions in the, these clips. We saw him line up with his hand on the ground like a traditional tight end. We saw him line up on the outside of the perimeter, and then we saw him line up in a slot position. And the athletic article mentions that he could be potentially playing that Y position, which is that slot position. Again, I'll link that article in the description below so you can check it out. But we saw a lot of good attributes. We saw him that he's able to beat DBs one-on-one, -on -one, which is pretty impressive being how big he is. He's able to adjust from the quarterbacks on the run, and he can go up and catch the ball. So there's a lot of good things to like about Epps. And having a big tight end or big receiver, again, whatever you want to call him, is so big for a quarterback, especially a quarterback who's looking to take the next step and develop because they can get you out of bad plays and there's a big target that, and if they have good hands and good speed that's a huge plus which Malcolm Epps looks to have so that's an exciting get for Keaton Slovis um, and I'm looking forward to his progression and his development if you agree or disagree let me know in the, in the link below let me know what you think of this get and we will see you next time for the next quarterback related video